Good to know you're still with us on business this week. Now, before the break, you listened and watched the head corporate affairs Benin Electricity Distribution Company talking about uh, estimated billing. All right, from there, now we'll move on to our topic for discussion today, uh, which is demutualization of the Nadrin Stock Exchange. I have with me a capital market operator, Anthony Idugo. Thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. All right, demutualization of the Nadrin Stock Exchange. That's something that we got to hear in the okay. course of the week, precisely Tuesday. Okay, okay so what is it about? Um, demutualization is the conversion of a member owned organization to a shareholder based organization. What it simply means is that before Nanaya Stock Exchange was owned by a group of people called store brokers, they are members. We have dealing members and non dealing members. Now they choose to make the ownership open. And before now, the Nigeria Stock Exchange is, was not made for profit, it's a non for profit organization. But with the demetralization, it will become a profit conscious organization. Mm. Now you mentioned that it was owned by a group of persons, uh, yes. more like a club. Yeah. But the impression before now was that it's owned and maybe even run by government. No, 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 not at all, not at all. So where did it get the name Nigerian Stock Exchange from? Nigeria Stock Exchange was founded in 1960, about 60 years old. And then it was called Lagos Stock Exchange. It was founded by a crop of capital market agents. One of the founding fathers. Uh, Chief Akitolia Williams, he's over 100 years now, he's still alive. He founded, he and other members, they are, he's the only one alive now, they founded Nigeria Stock, Nigeria Stock Exchange. Then it was called Lagos Stock Exchange. Okay. It was never owned by government. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now that um, the Stock Exchange is moving to demutualize, what is leading to this process? What brought up that uh, mm. intention to move to another level? Right from inception, the whole idea was to make the Nigeria Stock Exchange a world-class stock exchange. And from 1967, no, sorry, yeah, 1967 till 2000, the DG, the first DG of Nigeria Stock Exchange, have been doing a lot of things. The exchange has been evolving, metamorphosing into a world-class exchange. And this is the 60th year anniversary and in fact this is the right time for the company to be demutualized hmm. now so how would uh, demutualization affect the performance of the markets the is it going to bring gains are there gains are there ah. uh, benefits to be gotten from it there are benefits but we need to understand something okay the stock exchange is a barometer okay it measures the economic awareness hmm. Of a nation, it does not have. It, it shows at a glance when investors come into the country, they look at our stock exchange. Oh, this is the value of this our GDP. This is this is how this company is doing well and all that. So the benefit from the idea is more of within the role of the organization. It does not have a direct benefit. Okay. Yeah, it shows. It is a barometer that I mentioned. It mirrors the awareness of the economy. Mm. But isn't that what was happening, or what it was before, the barometer of the economy, yeah. when it was uh, Nigeria Stock Exchange operated by a group of persons? Okay. Wasn't that the same uh, function? Okay. And now it's going to be mutualized. It seems like there's no difference. There is. There is. So what would the difference be? The difference is that in terms of openness, when they are demutualized, post demutualization, they were making their books public okay. to the society. Okay. The society can see at a glance, oh, this is the balance sheet of the Nigeria Stock Exchange, this is the profit and air, this is what they made this year, this is what they made last year, unlike before. Okay. And with the democratization, a lot of things will come into play. Okay. For example, they will not have two subsidiaries. Mm. We have the one in charge of regulation, and that subsidiary in charge of securities trading proper, unlike okay. before, they were together. Okay. Yeah. Now, I understand that every stock exchange has its own peculiarities. Yeah. What are the peculiarities of the Nigeria Stock Exchange? Uh, the Nigeria Stock Exchange, the significant uh, peculiarity in our capital market is that it's denominated by foreigners. Hmm. Yeah. Is that a good thing? Uh, no, really. It's not a good thing. It's because 
are local people. They are not really interested in capital markets. So foreigners take advantage of the capital markets. And when foreigners choose to pull out or invest more money into the capital market, they are first the capital market. Now, this peculiarity you just mentioned, yes. uh, to what extent do you think it will impede uh, whatever gains demutualization will bring? The bulk of foreign investors that invest in the capital markets, most of them are capitalist driven people. So with the organization of the fee, there will be openness in the earnings of the capital market. And that will bring more confidence in the capital market. Okay, now this process of demutualization seems like it's not completed already. Where are we? Uh, on Tuesday, the, they had a meeting in Lagos, an EGM, a general meeting, and COM, court order meeting, okay. where all the members came together, they had a resolution, one, that the Nigeria Stock Exchange should be demutualized, two, that it should have two subsidiaries, one in charge of regulation, the regulatory arm, another in charge of security trading, like the revenue stroke income generating arm. Then three, they also gave breakdown on how they are going to distribute the shares on Nigeria Stock Exchange among the members. Okay. Yeah. Now, but it seems like the uh, extent that they've gone so far by yeah. Tuesday yeah. is like um, they, they just crossed a major hurdle. Exactly, exactly. What was the reaction of the stock markets? The markets didn't react positively. Ordinarily, the markets were supposed to react positively. But because of some background, uh, uh, background in the economy, like the coronavirus, okay. uh, insecurity, mm -hmm and uh, poor economic uh, uh, policies. This has not made the market to react, or the market is supposed to react positively to that uh, major breakthrough on Tuesday. Well, because right now, there is a, a little recession in, econo in, um, in global, uh, economy. global economy. There is little recession in major capital markets all over the world, and it has filtered down to our own local capital market here. So there is no much, uh, positive response. Okay. Online is supposed to be a plus to the capital markets. Mm. Now, are there people, are there sectors that this development of demutualization of the Nigeria Stock Exchange will affect? Yes. Maybe negatively? Negatively, no, no, not at all, not at all. What about the positive side? Positively, you cannot become a shareholder of the Nigeria Stock Exchange. You can own parts, you can own bid, you can buy shares of the Nigeria Stock Exchange on the floor of the Nigeria Stock Exchange. Unlike before, it was strictly by members okay so if you were not a member before this time you couldn't become a share not at all not at all or like now that it's okay. open to it's open. the public the shares are listed mm. through a store book and you can buy the shares mm -hmm. of nigeria stock exchange unlike before it was strictly for members okay now the stock exchange being the barometer of the economy like you said and yeah. most uh, uh stock brokers capital market operators and even experts have said it yeah. means that it needs to do well for so that uh, it can be one thing that investors will look at and then say okay fine the economy is doing well let's go over the... there i know the economy has to feed it yes so it does well but it's like a mirror. If your mirror is not clean, you look mm. at your reflection, you don't see mm. clearly That's what's true. on the other side. Uh, okay. We're going to break. When we return, we'll talk about is demutualization okay. of the Nadra Stock Exchange the solution that is necessary for the growth of the Nadra Stock Exchange? Or beyond that, there are other things that need to be in place. Yes, okay. There are other things necessary for the growth of the Nadra Stock okay. Exchange. Stay with us. It is Talking Business on Independent Television. Thank you for staying with us on Talking Business. We're discussing the mutualization of the Nadra Stock Exchange. Now, when it is concluded, by what name would it be known? The name or were there names? Uh, yeah, okay. the name will be changed from Nigeria Stock Exchange to Nigeria Exchange PLC. Okay. Yeah. All right. There will have two other subsidiaries. You okay. have, have subsidiaries, one in charge of regulation, mm. the other in charge of um, security trading. That's okay. the revenue stroke income generating harm 
okay. on the Nigeria Stock Exchange. Now, if we have uh, a part in charge of regulation, where is the place of the Security and Exchange Commission? The Security and Exchange Commission regulates the Nigeria Stock Exchange. Okay. Yeah. Why Nigeria Stock Exchange regulates store brokers on a daily basis? They okay. create a platform for trading of securities mm. and instruments. Okay. Yeah. Now, off air, we're talking about domination of the Nigeria Stock Exchange yeah. by yeah. foreigners. Yeah. What can be done to encourage local participation? Uh, so there's a balance at least. Yeah, to encourage local participation, we need to sensitize the citizens mm. on the gains of the Nigeria Stock Exchange. Okay. But Nigerians, most Nigerians, they just want something quick. Mm. They just want, they are fond of put this year, the next minute you get something very, very significant. But the exchange is something that is knowledge based. Okay. Yeah. It's not a smart uh, money business. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But since uh, uh, it's something that is knowledge based, yes. uh, it still means that you need to contact your broker. Yeah, a professional. And, yeah. Okay. And yeah. some persons don't want to go through all that stress. They just want something. Oh, I buy this today. Mm -hmm. I know how much I'm making. And yeah. uh, so it, it seems like it's an attitude thing. It's about who we are. Yeah. The truth is, we have so many products in the market. So when you con uh, contact your stockbroker, your stockbroker will advise you based on what you want. Mm. Your stockbroker will tell you this product will go with your likes and dislikes and all that. Okay. So that's how it is. Okay. Now, uh, beyond demutualization, what's okay. the next level? Is that the zenith for the stock exchange in terms of growth? It is, it is. The growth of the stock exchange depends on the results of companies okay. listed on the stock exchange. And these results also depend on the macroeconomic space. Okay. If things are going well, the right policies are in place. We have infrastructures, roads, electricity, good health, good communication. It will tell on the companies, they will make good profit. And when they make good profit, they will declare good dividends. And when they make good dividends, people will be interested okay. to invest in the stock exchange. But when these basics are not there, then the exchange cannot grow. Okay. Now, uh, uh, let, let's do uh, a comparative analysis now. Okay. When the exchange wasn't demutualized, okay. and now that it's being demutualized, okay. looking at the Nigeria environment, which do you think works better and which do you think offers more benefit to the economy to the people. Uh, now that it has been demutualized, you can have access. Mm. You can become a part owner of okay. the Nigeria Stock Exchange. And now there's confidence okay. in Nigeria Stock Exchange because their booths will be made open. open. Okay. People now have access, unlike before, their booths is strictly for members' consumption. Okay. So their booths will be made open and people cannot point in this, what they are not doing well, okay. people they are not doing well. So okay. air gates will be coming, air parties will be coming to the system. Mm. So at no point will the old way ever outweigh where they are right now. Not at all. Not mm. at all. Yeah. Thank you so much, no Anthony Dugu, for coming yeah. on the show. So uh, for those who deem mutualization seem like, what's happening? What does it mean? You've, you've come to understand it right now. And um, as a way of sensitizing people, uh, I think people should begin to consider owning shares, you know, participating yeah. in the stock exchange. Yeah. Come on, it doesn't uh, hurt to have more streams of income. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. And when you cannot uh, do it by yourself, there are stockbrokers that you can contact. Yeah. Thank you again for coming Welcome. on the show. Yeah. So that's it on business this week today. I am blessing AHA. I wish you a great weekend.